5 Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, good morning, everybody. Kind of a messy Saturday on the way. Let's take you to what I'm tracking. For the most part, we're looking at Saturday rain showers. However, this will mix in with some snowflakes at times. We'll show you the radar coming up in just a second. A cool, breezy Sunday is on the way. Even the possibility of a stray snow shower, but it's a mostly snow-free Sunday, but those winds will make it feel pretty chilly. Then, talk about chilly, a cold blast of air. That moves in Monday night through the rest of the week. We're talking about temperatures very similar to what we saw with that last cold blast. Uh, overnight temperatures in the single digits, highs in the teens, and wind chills could be even worse than that. So we'll put up the seven-day coming up in just a minute. Now, on live pinpoint Doppler 12, notice how we are seeing some blue here, north and west of 295. Now, not all of this is actually falling as snow. Sometimes the radar shows stuff that's not actually hitting the ground, but potentially some snow falling in that little blue patch here, mixing with some rain. And this will be the story for the rest of the morning with rain showers mixing with some snowflakes, especially north and west of I-95. You can see north and west of I-95, the temperatures are around freezing, 32 Gloucester, 30 to Coventry. We are 35 in Providence, 39 in Newport. So in terms of watching out for slick roads, snow covered roads this morning, yeah, a chance of that here north and west of 295 in places like Gloucester. Even if we do see the snow here in the capital city this morning, very unlikely that it really sticks. And speaking of the capital city, here we go right now. Temperature is 35. Winds are light out of the northeast at five miles an hour. We take the wider view. You can see that lobe of snow now stretching across the northern Rhode Island, Massachusetts border. It looks like there's a big gap in the precipitation underneath us, but see this uh, green? I expect these rain showers to fill in as we go throughout the late morning into the early afternoon so we can actually track that precipitation going hour by hour. Eight o'clock in the morning, rain showers perhaps mixing with some snowflakes, especially north and west of Providence. Then as we head into the late morning, early afternoon, could see some occasionally moderate bands of rain. Now, when the precipitation falls harder, sometimes it actually creates some um, colder precipitation, so we could actually see some snow bursts during that time, especially north and west of Providence, where an inch or two is possible. We're talking north and west of 295, places like Lost or the rest of us. Not really any accumulation. You just may have to see at times some of those flakes flying mixed in with what's primarily a rain event. And then tonight precipitation starts to clear out. Could see a few lingering rain or snow showers. We are a little concerned about the possibility of black ice tonight through tomorrow morning. The hope is that some of the winds from the northwest kind of dry things out. But as you wake up tomorrow morning, the possibility of some patchy black ice exists. Tracking the temperatures into noon. Here's the good news. Most of us above freezing 40 in Newport, upper 30s, Providence, even Smithfield at this point gets into the upper 30s. Same story at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, upper 30s to around 40, mid 30s in Smithfield. And then tonight again, watching some of these spots like Smithfield, Gloucester dropping to around freezing with the potential of some of that uh, patchy black ice and then below freezing as we head into tomorrow morning. So in the seven day future cast, mostly cloudy Sunday, breezy, a slight chance of a stray snow shower, but for the most part, it's a dry day. And then for Martin Luther King Day, we're talking about a brief snow squall possible that will usher in that very cold blast of air, Steve. And then you could see those temperatures just drop Tuesday's high only 21 on Wednesday, 18 degrees with low temperatures in the single digits and wind chills could make those temperatures feel even colder. And uh, just to transition here, we were just talking about uh, Yana's report there from Denver. The forecast for the game in Denver tomorrow, temperatures in the upper 50s, mostly sunny skies. So uh, big Let's difference. Let's move to Denver. Are you kidding me? Those six degree lows again? Yes. I we, are, we fought through that already. We made it through it. We'll make it through it again. But the cold air is on the way again. Yes, yeah, so you're staying positive. Yes, I am. That's good. Thanks, Pete. Yep. We are covering New England this morning. A federal appeals court has upheld a